Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torin. And Jinx here. And welcome to Animal Shelter Simulator on the PlayStation 5. So Jinx is going to be playing this game today. She's already played a little bit off camera. Would you play for like a couple hours yesterday? Yeah, just to get familiar with like the controls and the mechanics. I was still in the tutorial, though. It's pretty lengthy. So we're going to be starting a new game, though. And so we pick uh, what animal we're going to be starting with. Are we going to do a dog or a cat, Jinx? We're going to do a dog. And what are you naming your shelter? High Jinx Haven. So Jinx was pretty excited for this game when we first saw the trailer. Because she used to work at an animal shelter in real life. Yeah, so it'll be kind of like prison sim. Yeah. But for dogs. <laughs> yeah, since I, I had worked at a, at, a, at a prison in real life. And can kind of relate to to that in the in the game. Thanks will be able to tell us how accurate this is for real life shelter work. If there's not like a ton of poop, then... <laughs> no, you used to come home just reeking like poop. I should be covered in poop, guys. Yeah. It was gross. It's still the best job I ever had. <laughs> it is. Jinx still says that today, which it's been a long time since she did that job. Like, what is it, a dozen years or something like that? <laughs> yeah, it was like 13, 14 years ago? Yeah, a million years ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I still miss it, though. I would go back to working with animals, but it doesn't pay it anything. It doesn't pay anything, no. <laughs> They're like, oh, you get to work with animals. That's payment enough. So our kids could not get over this picture here of this dog, which you can't see on the screen now. No. Oh. This picture, <laughs> because it's got the little X for the butt. Yeah, they're like, oh my god. Yeah, our kids could not stop mentioning that. So we're going to get our first pet. So its its name is Maddie? Mm-hmm. You can change the name. Uh, once you name the pet, though, you, you can't. You can't change it after that? Rename it. Do they at least tell you the gender of the dog, or are you just kind of no, guessing here? No, I don't think the dogs really have Because Maddie genders. could be a... Oh, they don't have genders. Okay, yeah. well, never mind then. So you can kind of go whatever you want. Mm-hmm. So we're going to keep this this name, Maddie? Yeah. I felt like we should rename it. This dog's not going to be with us long. Oh, uh, okay. This is all just part of this tutorial here. Yeah. And then you go get your pupper. You just scoop them up. You just carry the dogs everywhere, huh? Yeah. Not like they have, you know, trust issues or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so animals deserve their own space. Only one pet is allowed per cage. Let's take this one to its new temporary home. That's not accurate either. We had dogs share kennels. We can't have all dogs share kennels because some no. of them do not get along. All right, so these are our starting locations, our starting kennels, and they're temporary houses. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is not where the dogs live? I mean, it is for now until we expand the shelter. So this shelter expands. It seems like it's already fairly large. Pit to pupper. Does it have you using the stick or are you using the... Uh... The stick, yeah. Oh, okay. I seems like that would be a good place food. for them to use the touch controls. But I guess the other consoles and stuff don't have that. I am excited to like... Because you can eventually like change and decorate and move mm -hmm. everything around. Kind of like in House Flipper. So can you decorate like the office and the look of this, yeah. this area inside here? Make it look better. The only frustration that I have is with the menu and we'll see uh, how that can get kind of crazy with the adoption process. What about the menu is, is frustrating? It's just like the selection. Because it's difficult to see what you're... Yeah, it's hard to see like where where you're at. Yeah, because it's, it's changing it to like a different color of green here, but it's not very like... Clear. Yeah, yeah it's I can all see. The same. Yeah, they should have made it a little bit clearer. So, what are we buying here? Uh, food and water. Nice. Yeah, so we're getting budget friendly dog food because we are broke. Yep. We are a poor shelter. So, that's our, our total balance there 1325. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get food, we'll get water, and stuff will our, unlock as we level up. Our new dog. 
like new types of food yeah what are the benefits food. to feeding them better food or can you just always stay budget friendly here i mean you could always stay budget friendly but why not spoil the puppers i mean is there any advantage to it though I mean, it probably makes them happier faster. Okay, so they have like a happiness rating. Mm-hmm. So you said that like a drone drops this these supplies off. Yeah, it'll. Come. Can you actually see the drone? Yeah, if you can get out there fast enough, you can. I feel like we gotta sprint out there and see this drone. All right, so we're filling up the water bowls. Cause he's probably starving. Can you pour water in the food bowl? I don't think Will so. I haven't do that? tried. I'm not gonna waste it. All right, so the pet's needs must be met. Yeah, you can look at the dog and use a clipboard. Oh. So we're still going through all the tutorial here. Yeah, he's hungry. Okay, so that first meter is the hunger. Second one's obviously H2O there. Third one is when it's gotta do uh, do the deed. <laughs> Do you have to take them out to that, or will yeah, they do that in the kennel? They will do it in the kennel, but it, it's best to let them out in the yard. Oh, you're just stepping it. all over that poop right there, aren't you? There's oh, those are leaves. That's just okay. leaves. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, you can also see it up there. Mm hmm And they have traits. Like, okay, and then they have fun. And for the last three here, we got fun, hygiene, and health. He's got a happy belly. We haven't gotten to know the dog yet. So we don't know it's all its trait yet? Yeah. So I'm just going to scoop her up, drop her off, and then we're going to play some fetch. Where's the ball? That's kind of interesting. You didn't play with the, the animals and yeah. stuff? Yeah. Do they give you more toys or just all you got is fetch? Um, Right now we just have the ball. I think more toys open up. Seems that cats use lasers. And they do. Love those little laser pens. <laughs> <laughs> Bring oh, look at him come. He's so happy. Look at how pleased he is with himself. He's ready for adoption. So that's all we had to do to get it ready? Yep. Feed Give him it. some food and water. Play Pet with him a little bit. Play with it. He's such a good doggy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you want to look at those traits again? Yeah. So we identified all the traits. It's loyal. And it likes children. And it has a happy belly. Okay. Is that a trait or is that just? That's just its like okay. status. Now we gotta go buy a camera. To take pictures of it and post them online? I can't throw things away yet. Because <laughs> I'm not <laughs> far enough in the tutorial. But the boxes get ridiculous. They stack up. Mm-hmm. So do you have to, you said you had to buy a camera? Yeah. Oops. The camera's be kind of expensive for this little budget that we're working on. So what all do we have in the store here? So Nothing. we got all our, our food. We're just looking at what we can get. All right, so you got the premium and the quality. You got super snacks. Super snacks. You got medicine. So the animals, sometimes they do come in like injured and stuff, right? Yeah, and really filthy. Mm -hmm. You gotta buy like a hygiene station to wash them. Well, we were asking about if there's other toys. You can go back up there. Let's see the toys, Jinx. Just get them right past <laughs> them over here. It's got balls, got ball in a spring. Got a little chicken. They love eating those chickens. Oh yeah, the rubber chickens. Plushies, scratching posts oh, for cats. Man. We used to have people who would come donate like stuffed animals mm -hmm. and stuff for the dogs and they never lasted more than like 30 <laughs> minutes. They just tear them up. Yeah. But man, they had a good time. So let me see the, the decorations before we leave the stores. Like when you press circle, does that pull you back to the next menu, to the previous menu, or does that like pull you out of the whole computer? It pulls you out of the whole thing. I hate when, when games do that. Yeah. Let me navigate with some actual, some hotkeys. So these are our, our decorations here. Got house plants, a square cat house, cream some pillows. Boxes. I haven't seen the dogs actually use the bed, so I really mm -hmm. do think that they're just decorations. Just decorations. They are, yeah, they are in the decorations, so. Looks like there's three different cameras as well. All right, so this is gonna be a two hundred dollar camera, yeah, or a two hundred paw camera, I suppose. That's the uh, 
currency I'm we're using. I'm outside to see the drone. All right, yep, there's a the drone, drone, just drops it off. That's the future of home deliveries, guys, and pizza delivery. Oh, I also wanted to get the broom here. Yeah, I noticed that oh, it does I seem can't... a lot yeah. like these other simulator games where you do have to do all the cleaning and all that. Doggy's just chilling. So we gotta clean up this mess it left. Yeah, anywhere that dogs sit gets yucky, apparently. <laughs> that is entirely accurate. All right, so we gotta try to get a picture. So what happens when you hit the more info on it? Oh, okay, just that, that just pops up. up. Yeah. I see. So do they, like, uh... Does the, the pictures matter at all? Like, the quality of the pictures? No. So you could just, like, take a picture of its paw, and that's perfectly fine? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's fine. As long as the dog is in the frame. Uh-huh. You don't have to be a fantastic photographer. It's not like that Pokemon game. Back which, in the day. which Pokemon game? The one where you just took pictures of Pokemon back on the uh, 64. Like uh, Pokemon Snap or something oh, like yeah. that. yeah. I love that game. I think you just like sat like in a little rail car. Like, you couldn't move around. And you just kind of like looked around and then took pictures of everything. Yeah, I can't remember that part. But I never had an N64. My, my friends had one. But I never had one myself. We always were the, we were the PlayStation family. So we'd have the PlayStation and your friend would have the N64 because none of us were rich enough to have all the consoles. Because you'd have to go to your friend's house to play the N64 games and they'd come over to our house to play the PlayStation games. Though we never had any games. We'd had like two or three games, that's all. Alright, so now Maddie is up for adoption. And so I, I'd seen you doing this. You gotta pick like different options, right? Different submissions to yeah. like find somebody who's the best fit for the dog. Mm -hmm. So we have the traits here. Mm -hmm. Maddie's loyal and likes children. Uh, the best conditions would be to have kids in the house. She doesn't have any unfavorable. So we have like a second person here that's now applied? Yeah, there's two. And this menu is the one that I have the most trouble navigating. Like knowing where you're Yeah, like trying to get at. out of it and like knowing what button to push to get out. Mm -hmm. And then going back and forth because you want to look at their traits too. Yeah. We're going to send an employee to inspect so that we can look at the house that they're going to live at. Oh, that just takes like 10 seconds, huh? Yeah. Well, that's super quick. So easy peasy. All right, so it's so a small it's a house. Small home. There's dogs, no cats, lonely person, no yard. And this person has little free time. So probably not the greatest fit for our dog here. No, not the greatest, but we'll see about this other one. Patricia Salt. So what are you paying to do this? Is this money? Yeah, this is money. Paw prints. You got to do your due diligence. Yeah, you got to make sure they go to the right home or else they just bring them back. Yeah, and you see that or a lot. At least that's what happens in real life. Unfortunately. All right, so very similar situation here. Oh, there's but kids. But there's kids in the house, so probably a better fit, yeah. even though she's busy as well. You know she desires the loyal trait, which yeah. doesn't want a shy or a glutton dog. And Maddie's, despite how much food and how quickly the dog ate the food, I don't think it's a glutton. Yeah, You're just starving. just starving. Yeah, that's all. I think this would be the best one. Yeah, I agree. Patricia is a better fit. So once you do this, then they just come pick the dog up. Yep, they come get it. And then you say goodbye. And he waves his little paw at you. <laughs> hey, thanks, Jinx. So basically, it's like a, just a revolving door for your animals. Seems like you're just getting them in and out like really quickly. I think there there's more to it. Mm -hmm. I think as you go further along and the dogs have more needs and stuff, and then obviously you'll have a lot more animals. Yeah. Bye, Maddie. Enjoy your new home. And, and then, then they rate it. Yeah. And for every like match, you get bonus points. Mm-hmm. And so what do the points do? Does this generate money for you? Yeah. 
And the points, I think, is what upgrades the shelter and then how, like, well a match is the person pays you. And we'll go take a look in the email. Yeah, they give you, like, it's like a donation or something, right? Yeah, something like that. Give you paw points. All right. So our next objective is to just get two dogs adopted. So you see the email. We got 545 paw prints. Is that, like, a decent donation? I don't know. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> I mean, it works. On... I haven't had any issues with money so far. How much do you typically get for your donations? Oh, I don't know. I don't even pay attention. <laughs> you don't pay attention to the no? money coming in? You're a terrible business owner, Jinx. I'm not a business owner. Like this, We're just trying to get animals <laughs> homes. Still got to run the business, Reggie's though. Reggie's starving. All right, so we got Reggie, thin, too thin, looks so poor. Shadow, we don't meet the requirements. Do we not have like a cat yeah, shelter we don't or something? Have a cat shelter. And so then we have another thin dog, Alley. We're gonna save these starving puppers. What's the other dogs down there? Oops, I always do that. We're gonna save Reggie. What are we gonna name him? Oh, I don't know. What do you want to name him? I don't know. I don't know what he looks like. So how are you supposed I know, to name it's him? It's hard to. Uhtred. Uhtred. <laughs> If we ever get a dog, that's what we're going to name it, probably, if it's a male dog. <laughs> Uhtred. Oh, there's Dakota. All right, so Dakota's not starving, so I feel like probably isn't as dire that we get Dakota, you know, get, uh, Dakota into home as, as much as Amber. So probably Amber, right, unless there's anything down there to bottom. Yeah, this dog needs to be showered, and we don't have that facility. Well, Amber doesn't look like a homeless animal, it seems. He got lost. Okay, what was up at the top? I could have swore there was another dog, yeah, Allie. A, yeah, we'll save Allie. All right, they both start with A. Oh, I gotta go get the other one first. They're out there honking at me. <laughs> Come get this dog. Wanna pet that dog? <laughs> so I recall you saying that there didn't seem like there were like a lot of... Uh... Pet like models, like dog models, yeah. Their skins or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they all kind of look the same. That's unfortunate. I mean, this one has a different. It seems like its ears are different. Its face yeah. is different. I mean, they're a little different, but they all kind of look the same. All right, so go we'll give him straight to the water to and take food care here. Of his needs. Could get the next dog coming. True. Although I don't know if you're trying to keep it just one dog at a time for now. Things can get too hectic. I haven't had any trouble i've only had the two dogs i haven't advanced to more but uh -huh. but i haven't had any trouble with like dogs biting or anything do they play together uh i think so i mean it seemed like it they did in the trailer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and again jinx is, it did not play much i didn't I had, had gotten to the showering part. Mm -hmm. This dog's a little different. All right, so this is the max amount of dogs we can have, right? Yeah, we got to expand the shelter. It's like as soon as we brought this dog in here, this I place know, got filthy. Like I Look just at that. walked in. I just walked in there, and it just instantly got filthy. Here you go, Pop. So the food is called good boy. Good boy food. The best. Yeah, this dog food. looks a little bit different. Well, maybe it was just my playthrough. Just kept getting the same dog. He's a good boy. <laughs> 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 and now I can't pet it without <laughs> without the sound effects. Damn. Yeah, it went through all that food and water. But we knew it was a starving dog. That's so sad. All right, so, so we can't see all potty. stats yet. Andy wants to play. Oops, I so they won't that. run out of the kennel on their own? No, like you... Well, that's not realistic. Yeah. <laughs> You'd open that kennel door, they'd go flying out. Yeah. I think, gosh, the shelter that I worked at, we had like 36 dogs was the most. Oh, I love how the, the piss... <laughs> <laughs> Kills the grass. Yes, yeah, quite accurate. 
There's like no grass. <laughs> it's like gravel. Is this the first time you've played catch with any of the dogs before? You just got a trophy. No. Maybe you had to play catch a certain amount of times. I'm just curious what the trophy's for. What was it called? Catch, I think. Oh. Something like that. I know you got it from playing catch. Maybe you had to play catch a certain amount of times. Maybe. He's so happy. Yeah, I remember Jinx's shelter where she worked. It was it was a pretty large shelter in a way. It wasn't large, but like there was a lot of dogs. Yeah, it was ran by a veterinarian who had their clinic next door. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like if a dog came in like injured or whatever, they could take care of it right there. Yeah. And I was actually gonna start working over in the clinic as well, but then we moved away. Yep, we moved. That's the reason why Jinx had to to quit that job. Because the amount of money she was making, which was not much, would not have paid for where we moved her to drive that far. Yeah. It wasn't like a long drive. I think it was like a 30-minute drive or something like that, but pay for the gas, 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back on what she was being paid was not really feasible. Yeah, and that and I would do like night checks and stuff where I'd go out there and, you know, let them out at night to go potty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she would go there at all weird hours. She had to go there like butt ass early in the morning, didn't you? Yeah. Because those dogs had to go bad. <laughs> some of them didn't care and they would shit all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then some of them had standards and I always felt so bad for them because they would be whining like, I got to go. Well, because yeah, they were potty trained mm -hmm. and so they're not going to shit where they sleep. It was the puppies, man. The puppies were the worst. Old dogs were the best in the shelter. Okay, I love this dog. I'm taking it home. <laughs> this is the dog we're going to keep. <laughs> It's okay, I love this one too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've gotten our dogs loved on, taken care of. What are these traits here? So this one's nosy, noisy or should be noisy and loyal. loyal. That'd be funny if it was nosy. It's all up in your business. <laughs> Wants to know all your information. Aren't all pets spying on you nosy. a little bit. What are you doing in that bathroom? This one's I'll intelligent help. and trustful. Oh, pet quickly gets what's going on. And it quickly becomes attached to, to humans, so it's going to become attached to you, Jinx. Oh. Also, it stares at walls, apparently. Yeah. Walls are interesting. All right. I was waiting to see if anybody had taken a poop that needed to be cleaned up. But I guess we can take a picture of somebody. We're not ready to put them up for adoption yet, but... What are you doing, Uhtred? Hello. Do you try and at least get? I think it's good. Yeah. <laughs> so you can zoom the camera in. Yeah. So I wonder if when you get like the the later cameras, if they're in all better. Like, do they have quality quality pictures or anything? I would hope so. I think one said it had a tripod. Oh, do we have access to the trash can now? We have access to the trash can. You're not going to recycle this cardboard? No, I tried, and then mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you need to use the big one. I'm like, okay. How are you going to have the recycling thing and say trash? Is yeah, it that's... a trash bin <laughs> or is it recycling? It's and both. You just throw everything in there. It's fine. This is our storage. Oh, this is a you mess. You put items in there. Oh, okay. It just stays like this. You don't have to clean it up or anything? Yeah. That's just not a well-kept storage. Oh, there's a poop. James is excited to gotta pick up get this the poop. poop. All right, so we got a poop bag. Scoop it up. If only cleaning up after a dog was this easy in real life. Yeah, I would have a giant bucket and a scooper. <laughs> And then I'd take a hose. Yeah, to I was it. gonna say, and then a hose. And then a hose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jinx had to hose that place down. That was just for the outside, though. The inside, yeah, you had to let them all out and then scrub everything. Yeah, because it would get messy as hell. It was bad. All right, so are we putting him up for adoption now? Uh, I think he's ready. No, he's not quite ready. We want him at a hundred percent adoptability. Oh, okay. All right, I, I didn't see that meter before going up. So it seems like that's what you're. 
generally waiting on with your animals. Yeah. Which I think is where you get like more time to spend with them. Mm -hmm. We'll go pet them some more and it should. Boost it up should some. Should be enough. Are you not going to just boot them both up at the same time? Yeah, but with the pictures, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just me or if I have difficulty like scanning multiple pictures or choosing which one. And I think part of it was because all the dogs that I had looked the same. It looked exactly so the same. I'd get them confused. It would, it will put the name on the picture, which makes it easier, but. So I'm just going to work on one at a time. How's the other one looking? 96%. Okay. We haven't seen them play together yet. No. I would say. Oh, and I was like, oh, he walked by. I would say, like, you, you said you seen it in the trailer that they were playing together, but. Uh, yeah. I would say let's not trust the trailer for anything <laughs> because in the trailer the game looked a lot better. Like yeah, as far as the like graphics. graphics and stuff. Yeah, the graphics were, were amazing in the trailer. Pretty good. For one of these simulator games. Alright, Allie's at a hundred percent. Let's get Utrid at a hundred percent too. And yeah, I'm noticing that the graphics are just nowhere near as good as they were in the trailer. Yeah, I would have liked for the dogs to have a little more detail mm -hmm. yeah right. sitting there like 100%. the stars of the show for yeah. this game. i mean they're cute don't get me wrong but <laughs> they could be cuter i need fluffy dogs <laughs> i guess we'll just have to see how, how, what kind of variety we have with the dogs all right so i'm gonna put utrid up upload that picture oh that's right i'm gonna scan it my bad. I was going to say that does not look like the picture. It doesn't look like Uhtred. <laughs> There's Uhtred. I guess we should have taken a picture of him in the grass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it kind of blends in. Uh-huh. Oh, well. Oh, so you can change the photo if you want to? Yeah, if you want to. But I guess if it doesn't matter to the, the submissions, then who cares? We'll go take what was the interaction you could do with that plant there? Do you got to water your plants or anything? Oh, I hope not. Oh, yeah, it's probably just pick, pick it, it up. up. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm not watering any plants. Well, our plant's going to die. Jinx is terrible about taking care of plants. Yeah. We tried having them around. Uh, they just always die. Allie. Jinx has the opposite of a green thumb. Now we just need to get these pictures uploaded and get the other dog up for adoption too. I'm interested to see how the gameplay expands so far because thus far I'm not really seeing, doesn't seem like a lot to it just yet. We are just starting out. Oop, you gotta got upload to it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If only scanning really was this quick and easy, we got a scanner in our house and it's be a pain in the butt to use sometimes. Oh, you can throw stuff away. <laughs> okay, so you can get rid of all those pictures there? Yeah. Keep your place looking tidy. All right, so we have our dogs up there. There's Allie, get her an ad going. She doesn't look like an alley. I just wish you could name the dog once you got it. Yeah. I mean, I guess they're not really sticking around for long, so it doesn't True. matter. And the owner's probably going to change the dog's name, too. Yeah. Still, though. Like, you grow so attached to these animals in the shelter. Well, also, your, your guys' animals, you know, the shelter you worked at, you guys had them for, like, a long time. Oh, uh, yeah, because we were a no-kill shelter. Mm -hmm. We had one dog, Sinclair. He had been there his whole life, and he was, like, 10 years old. Yeah, so those He's animals would be there for years sometimes. He did finally get adopted, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Once he was an old dog, settled down? Yeah. He was always a good dog. <laughs> All right, so here's one of our options. Mark Bright. Send somebody out. He looks like a grumpy old man. I mean, yeah, just based on the illustration here. <laughs> so you, you don't see the people at all? No. So yeah. That was also something different in the trailer, because in the trailer they had like the people came 
to the shelter and actually, you know, they had like a parent and a kid walking around. And I mean, maybe you have that eventually. I don't know. If they don't yeah, have it I yet. Don't I don't think so. All right, so these are the stats for the... Some cats and kids. There's a yard. So does any of this fit with, with our dog here? Desired trait loyal. One of our dogs was loyal. I think Allie was loyal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that might have been. So no, yeah. Uhtred's loyal. Uhtred's noisy and noisy. loyal. Does he care about it being uh, nosy at all? Or noisy? Jesus. No. Okay, so I guess you got a good option here. I don't know if you want to look at your other, your other options. I think you'd be fine. Although, right, he has... A lot of conditions, but I don't know. Uhtred's not really picky. All right, let's match him. Yeah, match him up. Looks like everybody else wants Allie anyway. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many times people come into the shelter. Do you have any puppies? No. Did you guys ever get puppies? Typically, the puppies go into the foster care. Because they're pretty easy to get rid of. Yeah. Find homes for. Udra, do you want a home? Yeah, see, like, I don't know how you can, like, deal with this the constant in and out of these dogs in your life. Yeah, but... Which is why so many people who work at shelters and stuff like that end up with, like, five dogs living with them. Bye, Udra. It's really kind of great, though... Like, my favorite part of the job was taking animals that seemed like they would never get a home because they had such trust issues, mm -hmm. and then turning them into, like, fiercely loyal, lovable dogs who got great homes. Like, there was a couple dogs, especially the chow breeds, that I noticed had a lot of issue. Those were the... There was a couple dogs, like Bear. Mm -hmm. You remember Bear? Yeah, yeah. And Harley. Is Bear the one that didn't like anybody? Yeah. Or hated men or whatever? Yeah, he hated men. Anytime a man would come in, he would just, like, freak out. Well, that didn't happen when I came in, which was no. interesting. When I came in there, he didn't seem to have any issues with me. Dogs in general just kind of like me. Might have also been, though, because he saw, like, that, that the Jinx trusted. Relax, yeah. Yeah, Jinx was relaxing. Trusted me, so. Because it was kind of creepy sometimes out there by yourself. Yeah, I was always worried about you, which is why sometimes at night I would go with Jinx to. Yeah, you know, especially go. when I did the night checks. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because I was like, yeah, I don't really want you out there late at night. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. There's no, like, yeah. there's no other buildings nearby, no people nearby. So we got 771 for Uhtred. Right, so we got a lot more for Uhtred. So much better fit. Let's get or out Mark of just home. had more money to give out. Maybe. Intelligent, trustful. Needs somebody who has time. Allie doesn't want to be neglected. So can you send uh, somebody into this one and then go back and then go send somebody into the other one as well? Eventually. I think once you get the next level, then you'll get another employee. Oh, okay. A big right. house. A big house. Only dog, only pet. There's kids. No yard. That person has a lot of free time. Oh, and they want an intelligent dog. Yep. I mm -hmm. think this is a great match. Alright, so yeah, we'll match Anita with with Allie. I wish it was this easy. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, you get people who come in and they do have, you know, wants, you know, that they expect from their dog. Or, like, you know the dog, so you know what kind of household they'd be best in. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, you, it breaks your heart when they have to be brought back. I mean, it's good that they are rather than, you know, being dumped somewhere or given to someone else who might not be a good home, but... Yeah, that I remember that hound dog, Copper. Mm -hmm. He kept getting brought back. What was wrong with him? I don't know. People, they just kept bringing him back. I think it was the first household was kids, which I didn't see that he had any issues with kids. But 
he would pick fights sometimes with other dogs. Did they have other dogs? Probably. I'm not sure. I, I never did, like, the house checks or anything like that. Oh, did you guys actually do house checks? Uh, yeah, typically. Oh, okay. And somebody would go out there and look. All right, so now we got the option to expand the shelter. So that's something we unlock with each level so of the shelter the reputation. Tour. So we'll get to see the, the build mode here. Which I'm interested to see some different mechanics here. See what all the game's got to offer. Got her email. And she gave us 683. I feel like I feel like Allie was a better fit for Anita than that other dog with Mark, who turned with Mark. So yeah, maybe it isn't just entirely based off of how well they dog they like the dog. Maybe there's a little bit of randomness to it. Here's our reputation. And you could change the name of your shelter. Oh, am I on there? Nope. So you can change the name of the shelter, but not your dogs. So what are all these uh, different options here? You know, we got email, we got the yeah, store underneath email that. store. And this is the build mode. this is mode. the build mode. So we need to get the washing station. First, I'm going to move the trash can. We can so we have an expand ticket mm -hmm. that allows it I see get more room oh wow I wonder how, how large you can make it I don't know it seems like pretty large so you just pick stuff up and move it yeah it's really easy to move things and so what are we putting right here in this new space it's gonna be washing station yep look at the washing room level one that is expensive it's huge. It's like all of our monies. All of our paw prints. I'm gonna move it. Oh, so it's like next to this building here? Yeah. So remember you can't like connect the buildings and have like doors in between them? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. All right. Everyone of which uh, consoles this game is on. It, it's on PC. It came out on PC first, I think. Then it came out on Xbox. And then here's coming out on PlayStation on Friday, I believe. So we got early access to the game. And then Nintendo Switch, I think, is the last one it's going to come to. I'm not sure on the date for that one. But it does have a, a Nintendo Switch version that's supposed to be coming out at some point. Now we can get dirty dogs. And so we got to see some different mechanics here. We actually have to clean up some of these dogs. So I'm hoping... Yeah, this is a dirty one right here, isn't it? Is that what that little red bubbly yeah. looking thing is? I think it was in a fight. So it needs to get washed. So we'll see what the dog cleaning looks like. Because I haven't seen that. I did see Jinx bandage up one of the pets. Alright, is this the actual color of the pet? And Shiloh is very hungry. Okay, so this is the washing station. Look at that, they give you a little chair so you don't hurt your back if you're an old man <laughs> like me. I can't bend over for very long, guys. Every time I bend over, my back just starts killing me. Break your damn back. Yeah, good God. So you know you're getting old. I'm not even that old, y'all. I'm like 36. Pour all that soap on the dog. Medical shampoo. Get you a sponge and start scrubbing. <laughs> so you have to like move it around? Yeah. Okay, I see. It's a little difficult with the stick sometimes trying to get it all the way up there, but I try to do short curt motions because <laughs> otherwise you know, it'll get all crazy. All right, so it is a multiple step process here, cleaning the dogs off. Scrubbing bubbles. And you notice how realistic it is with the dog just sits there yeah. nice and calm, doesn't move, just lets you clean it off and bathe it. No problems. Yeah, these are all perfect dogs. Mm -hmm. like, Why would anybody ever bring these dogs back? Did I get 100%? Yeah. And we gotta blow dry them. 
Okay, so it's all pretty simple. It's just basically filling meters up here, holding it until you fill the meter up, move it around a bit. It looks like it is the dog's real color. It's hard to see the progress. <laughs> all right. Let's get you something to eat. I mean, so far all the dogs we've seen look pretty different. Yeah, they do. Yeah, maybe you just Must got have been just me last yeah, night. Yeah, you're just getting unlucky. Getting all the same dogs. Alright, so we got some water and food for Shiloh. It's an intelligent and brave dog. Oh. This trait will make any animal a true hero. Got hero dog goodness. She is thirsty. Do you want to work on getting the second dog going? Sure. Since it looks like we have to do two animals again to move up to the, I suppose, to move up to the next level and be able to unlock something else. Mimi. So we got one choice, Mimi. Um, these another are filthy both dog. animals that were supposed to be used in animal fights. Uh. Mimi is a weird name for a fighting dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you're not changing on the names for all the dogs. But I guess it's hard when you can't, like, you can't see them. I'll start naming them. I'll start naming them after dogs that were in the shelter when I worked there. Oh, we got a new pupper. All right, she's very dirty. See, this dog looks like a Shiloh. It's just hard to name them without seeing them. Yeah, without first. seeing them. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun trying to guess what breed they were. Because <laughs> <laughs> apparently that's important to people. Like, what is this Well, yeah, dog? yeah, people want to know. That's like the first question you're going to ask. What kind, what kind of dog what it is. What behaviors can I expect? Like, well, it's a mutt. <laughs> You'd get some fancy dogs in there. There's this one dog, good grief. I can't remember what breed she was, but she only wanted wet dog food. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, people did donate the canned dog food, but we would mix it up with the dry as like a treat for them. Yeah, and then like all the dogs get it, right? Yeah. But she, like, we ended up having to feed her the canned food because she would like starve herself. Really? <laughs> yeah. She would use her little licky tongue to pick out all the chunks of wet food uh -huh. and then leave the rest. She just wow. would not eat the hard food. So she wasn't getting enough food? Yeah, she was getting skinny. So yeah, that's like, a spoiled right. ass dog right there. <laughs> so it's like, this dog needs a frou frou home. I think you're done. A little princess bed. It's clean. Do they ever like uh, show up where they, they actually look really filthy? So far these two dogs here didn't actually look all that dirty. Yeah, I didn't notice that they looked dirty. So they never shown up looking really dirty? No, not really. Not that I've noticed anyway. That was another thing we saw in the trailer, so I was asking. All right, so we already got food and, and water for Mimi. Yep, yeah, yep. need cleaning. Mm-hmm. Can you, you also sweep Shiloh? Is that what yeah. that is? <laughs> it's all the pop up. Is. Swooping butts. Goodness. Yeah, it seems like they just annihilate whatever food and water you give them the moment we put them in there. Which just wouldn't be realistic either. You would not keep their food bowl. No, because some of them the will just, they'll just keep on eating. Mm-hmm. You have meal times. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's an aggressive dog. Oh, man. I mean, I guess that sense. explains why it's a brave dog. I wouldn't be surprised if this... Um, this is a troublemaker and a glutton. Yeah. All right, so she eats more often. So we're going to only want one out at a time, probably. Well, I would like to see if that even matters. I mean, I don't want the dogs to fight, plus they are both former fight dogs. But I'm just curious if it even matters at all, though. Yeah, maybe they can be best friends. Here, Pupper. Because so far we haven't even seen the dogs interact with each other. That's true. So I say like bring the other dog out and see what happens. I mean, you're here to supervise. That's true. That's how, kind of how you see who gets along and who doesn't. Yeah, you can't just assume that Shiloh will attack Mimi. I mean, you, you probably could, but. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, you Some know, maybe dogs hated each other. What if he gets all Twitter painted on? Oh, yeah, maybe. he's gonna fall in love. Yeah, falls in love. Mimi just looks sad. She's happy now. Oh, she doesn't like petting. What was the uh, traits for her again? Was she shy? Oh, we haven't figured out all her traits. She's a troublemaker, too. Yeah, and a glutton. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, are they gonna play? <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped in there. They look like they're ground at each other. It did. I've had to break up a lot of dog fights. Well, uh, that does seem like it answers the question on if they interact with each other at all, though. Because yeah, it looks like they're they about were. to interact. I would say wait and see if they. If it's an aggressive interaction or, or a playful one. Come on, Mimi. She uh, struggles with this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you two play. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, didn't they play? I don't know. Or did I kick I, I kind of feel like that was a bug. Yeah, it seemed like a bug. All right, so now we need to get the ratings up so that we can find, find homes for these two dogs. Are they good to go yet? Probably not. Not even yeah, close. Not even close. They Their fun meter fun. is really low. This one's almost ready yeah shiloh's in a better situation god we had this giant Stratfordshire or Stratfordshire. he couldn't be with anybody like he couldn't have anyone around him and he was kind of scary because he was huge and he would play really really rough and he'd get just too excitable did he, he attack other dogs if you put him oh, around oh yeah him? definitely like we didn't even chance it because he was so aggressive like just through the the pen we actually had to send him to a rescue um for like pit bulls and stuff in mm -hmm. louisiana they came and got him you know people who are like trained and experienced mm -hmm. with more aggressive dogs yeah because like he's he's sweet but man he did he had no idea how big and powerful he was so he'd just be playing with him and he'd get out of control well shadow's ready for pictures Oh, well, they haven't interacted at all since... Since I broke them up. Where she broke... Well, I mean, before you just hopped in there. All right, so we got our picture of Shiloh. And then... You don't have to wait until their meter's all the way up to take pictures? No. You just wait until their meter's up to, like, post the mm -hmm. ad. Oh, there's a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got our pictures. Now we just need to get... I mean, they don't seem like they're going to find... Mimi's rating up. They're not both behind there, are they? Up to no good. Yeah. <laughs> What'd they go back there? They wanted a little bit of privacy <laughs> to get there. <laughs> like, do you mind? Hey, don't worry about us. We got this. I want to know what this is. <laughs> like, are they peeing? I guess. They're just, they just regular filthy? old filth. I mean, you did just clean both of these ones, though. Yeah. What are you guys doing back here? All right. I'm going to leave you out here. <laughs> Be good. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put Shiloh up for adoption. You're not worried about Shiloh attacking Mimi? I don't think so. I would hope that we would get an alert <laughs> that something's going down. You might be able to hear it, but we generally keep the sound kind of low so our mic doesn't pick up the uh, the TV. And so we might not be able to hear it. You always forget to scan it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we get Mimi scanned and Shadow's picture scanned. Get them on in there. And then we'll see if we can't find a home for Shadow. And that's probably going to be all we're going to be able to do in today's episode. I was hoping to get to the next uh, task, just see what it is. And see if they unlock, uh, you know, if we have enough money and, and they unlock the ability to, to do anything else. We saw the, the different buildings that we had available there. 
I guess we'd have to get, like, get the cat house next, or, or I suppose the uh, the thing so we can help injured pets. I think pets. the cat house is what's next. Oh, do they uh, force you to go down a certain route or something? Yeah. Let's see. This was Shiloh. Okay. So we're going to create our ad here. We'll see if we get any submissions. Does anybody want Shiloh? He's aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be difficult to find a home for Shiloh due to that aggression. No. Okay. I guess I'll go yeah, play we'll with the other dog back and it's and... fun up. Oh, let me see if I can buy a new toy. Maybe get the fun boost a little go bit faster. Shopping. Also, did you want to look in the buildings again? I want to see what other after you get the toy, of course. But I want to see what all buildings there might be that we didn't we didn't note. Are you getting that rubber bone? Yeah. I love those. You said the building. Yeah. What's the side expansion tickets? Is that how we increase the size of our place? How much yeah. are those? I don't know. I think you oh, just get okay, them an option. from eleven. What about 11? the uh, the other? Well, I assume you can pay for them because of the fact that they're in the store. Okay, this is just the cameras. Yeah. You're yeah, wanting to go into build mode? Yeah, yeah, we'll see what else we have buildings wise. Build right, so another office. Another office. Are there different types of offices or is it just the one? Oh, yep, they got different levels. Okay. Got, got the vet, vet, different levels of these clinics as well. The washing stations, additional housing, and then the cat and dog cages. A photo, photo studio. studio. Maybe be able to get better pictures. It makes me think the pictures maybe are relevant. But maybe not. And then uh, a warehouse. For your storage. Mm-hmm. Right, and then this is all like decoration decorations stuff. Decorations and furniture and mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. And then uh, what are these other things in the computer that we haven't looked at yet? So that's your, your mm -hmm. pet. Your adoption, your gallery. This is the other one, stats, this next one here. Yeah. Okay, there's the stats the leaderboard. Name this real quick, because it changes the name on the front of your, your building. So it's not named after the, the name you gave it? No. I, initially? I don't know why, but... Hmm, okay. All right, so we'll change that name up. We're clean. And what's, uh, after that, what's the next one? Just your notifications. Okay. All right, your and the encyclopedia. encyclopedia. Okay. Just wanted to go through there in the first episode. So I know everything, uh, everything in the menus. So now it says Jinx Haven. All right, so we'll go in here and see if they're playing with the rubber bone fighting over it. You have to place that? Oh, uh, yeah, the drone should have brought it. Oh, I didn't confirm it. Uh oh, so we didn't buy it? <laughs> yeah, we'll do it when we go back in to check the adoptions. Okay. Why does this dog always want to hang out back here? She sees something. Probably a cat. Yeah, I think you have to try and get it. Oh, squeaky, she's all excited now. She heard the squeaky ball. <laughs> So we'll try and get her happiness up. So we can get her adopted as well. But both of these dogs have negative traits. They made the first two that you adopted out fairly easy, it seems. You know, traits that, for the most part, were pretty, pretty easy to find homes for. And then they give you these two more challenging dogs. Almost, just a couple more throws, I think. Well, they haven't tried to kill each other yet, so that's good. I wish you'd let them interact there, because I was kind of curious what they were going to do. Yeah. I mean, they did look like they were going to fight, but in, in, in that case, it is best to, you know, real dogs to try and get in there immediately before it actually kicks up. Gosh, that copper guy, he was a hound dog, so he had mm -hmm. those big old ears. He got into a fight, and then somebody tore his ear open, and then we had to staple his ears. I stapled my damn finger to his ear. What? You stapled your <laughs> finger to his ear? <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. 
Because his ears are really hard to put back together. <laughs> Hopefully we got, yep, we've got some candidates here. All right, so Patrick and Chris. So you got to remember. Aggressive, aggressive, intelligent, brave. Needs a big house with no other pets. And have time. And no kids. No kids. So yeah, I think this is going to be a difficult. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe Patrick will fit all these requirements. But I think Shiloh will be a little more difficult for us to place here. Yeah. I mean, we can send them anyway, but... What were you looking at? I was looking to see what the desired traits were. Mm -hmm. We'll just send them out on both of them. I mean, the 25 paw prints, it doesn't seem like that much to, to send them out. All right, so a big house, no dogs, but they have cats and, and kids. kids. So yeah. clearly Patrick is not a good fit. Like, sorry. So I have to see if Chris is a better fit. There's he has dogs, dogs and cats. cats. No yard, they have time. Doesn't want a mischievous dog. Yeah, I don't like either of these. So all you can really do is wait for a different, different candidate. It looks like Patrick's already yeah, gone anyway. Yeah, Patrick left. He's like, no. All right. So I guess we can put the other dog up for adoption. Did you get the uh, happiness up high enough? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we got another person who's willing to take a look at Shiloh. Yeah, see, it really sucks though. You see, Jinx keeps exiting the computer. Cause you're pressing that circle because you're trying to go back to the menu and then it exits the uh yeah. the computer you're like oh just press l1 and r1 but it doesn't work like that <laughs> all right so with anna she's got a big house no dogs no cats but she does have kids There's kids she does have time she wants a brave dog though and shiloh is brave i feel like this is not a horrible fit but of course, with aggressive dog yeah. and kids. But Shiloh might become like a protector of those kids. That's true. I've had some of those dogs. Didn't you have one that you guys had rescued who's aggressive? Oh yeah, yeah. We got we had a dog that we had for years. And we had her for god I don't know, eight years, ten years, something like that. Through much of my childhood. And uh yeah, she was not in a good state when we got her. Very violent and and, and uh, just scared, frightened of us, and and eventually, yeah, she became like she's very protective of us. Yeah, just like in real life, it would you know you would obviously take a look at the situation, mm -hmm. and the interactions between the dog and you know if there were children, mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't know, I wouldn't put a a dog and a an aggressive dog in a home with kids. It's just too risky. It's just a question on will we be able to find a home for Shiloh. True. Because he's got a lot of traits that I think are gonna fit. A lot of requirements. You gotta have somebody who's got no other pets, no kids. Mm-hmm. Might be a little easier to to get a house for for Mimi though. Did you just post her? Yeah. So yeah, we see if any submissions come in as we do our outro here because it is unfortunately the end of this first episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Looks like we did get an offer from Mimi here. So we'll see if this would be a good fit before we end the episode. What is the traits that Shiloh has? I'm a glutton. Yeah, this one's for Mimi, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, Mimi, that's what I meant to say. Glutton and troublemaker. But also trustful. And needs somebody who has time. So let's see if Chris is a good fit. Small house. No cats, kids in house, has a garden, has time. 
wants a trustful dog and just a, wants one that's not nosy, which, that's or fine. noisy, excuse me. I'm going to say that all day. Say nosy <laughs> instead of noisy. <laughs> we'll match them up. All right, so that means we'll, we'll better get a, a one of our two dogs matched up before we end here. But yeah, if you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos. We've got links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. We also have links to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. And finally, find links to all our social media if you'd like to follow us on those. If you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for the next episode, then check out the front page of our channel. Got a ton of videos, quite a few uh, series from the simulator genre. We play a, a lot of different genres, but this has increasingly been a genre we play a lot these days. Just so many simulator games coming out. I think that's because some of them have seen some massive success. So everybody's trying to get in on that and put the simulators out there. So it looks like that might not have been quite a good fit as some of the other two that we've done there. Still pretty decent, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do have a lot of different series if you're looking for something to watch. And yeah, we'll have to end it here. Heading Shiloh, hoping that we can find Shiloh a good home. Because it's a good dog. He's a good dog. So yeah, we'll have to see if we can find a home for Shiloh in episode two. I do hope to see you on that video. And thanks for watching.